Well, looking ahead to Friday, it's the second annual Camas Festival. It is your chance to learn about the purple Camas lilies through art. Our core Harlan has a sneak preview of the event happening at Linfield University. All right, we're getting ready for a great festival this coming Friday at Linfield University, uh, and it is all centered around the Camas plant. This will be the Camas Festival this coming Friday here at Linfield, and uh, part of the uh, festival is an art exhibit here featuring a lot of Camas flowers, a lot of Camas bulbs that uh, people in the uh, in the Grand Ronde uh, community, in particular, uh, was a was a main part of their. Uh, of their community and their what they lived on and what they thrived on. Katana is one of the guest artists for this part of the show here. Would you do me a favor and and this is some of your artwork and I want Carl to kind of look at this artwork. But would you could you give us a thumbnail of how important Camus and the bulb and the cakes that they made out of them were to the Grand Ronde community? Absolutely. Hi, my name is Katana. I'm a local indigenous artist, and this is a piece I made depicting of how abundant the camas used to grow here on the Calipunian land. Um, it grew so much that it would start to look like a river flowing, and that's what I depicted here. The camas bulb was a traditional food for the Kalapuyan people that lived here, and it's important because it was really a part of their survival. Um, the bulb is a really starchy nutrient, and so it was our main source of starches. And it carried over for the winter. It carried people through the cold, through the cold part of the winter. It's cool. It's a great part of the show. You've got a couple paintings here, and a couple of uh, other items up here on the uh, on the wall of the exhibit as well. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll see you Friday. Uh, Bill is uh, one of the professors here, and professor. Uh, I'm sorry, I've asked you this a couple times. Professor of uh, environmental, environmental studies. studies. Right. We're doing some restoration work at a nearby creek here uh, that has been overgrown by maybe non-native things, and and the effort is to allow some sunlight to get in on the camas and kind of give it a rebirth. Would you talk to me about that a little bit? Yes, it began um, uh, back in 2015. We formed a partnership with the Greater Yamhill Watershed Council. Uh, there's a, a stream that runs through campus, Cozine Creek, mm -hmm. um, and it was very overrun with um, English ivy and um, uh, Himalayan blackberry. Uh, and so we began to do some restoration work um, involving students. Um, students wrote a grant to get uh, some funding through the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board, and so we've been over the years, um, controlling the um, invasive species and planting native ones. And, and camas are coming back up, yeah, right? And what we discovered is once we uh, removed the English ivy and the Himalayan blackberries, the camas began to thrive. Um, and that's when we contacted um, the Grand Ronde community and asked if they'd be interested in, in helping us to um, celebrate right. our, our backyard ecosystems and the importance of um, these places to, to both the people that live here as well as um, everything else that uses these areas. That's part of the show too. Part of the festival. They'll have uh, tours down there to Cozine Creek. They can see the camas. Is it coming up yet? or, or It's just now uh, starting to bloom. This late spring has really set us back. So we're probably two weeks out of where we normally would be with the bloom. But yes, we'll be having tours uh, with tribal representatives that will talk about the cultural significance of the camas. Um, we'll also have students that will be talking about the restoration work that they've been involved in. So um, it's just a way to celebrate the um, the importance of these backyard ecosystems and, and and how important they are to our region. Really cool. When we look back uh, on the land here over the course of, uh, of millennia, the, the salmon important to some peoples, uh, the camas uh, more connected maybe to the uh, peoples of the Grand Ron in, in the same way that salmon is to some other tribes and stuff like that. It's going to be a pretty cool event. As, a, as you heard Bill say, it's interactive. You go down and take a tour of the creek, see the camas trying to come up here through the clouds and the rain and the sunshine sometimes here. This coming Friday at Linfield University, the Camas Festival. Check it out if you're going to be out this way and you want to learn something about the indigenous plants and the indigenous people who have been here. All right, thanks, Cor. Again, the Camas Festival happening Friday from 10 to 2 p.m. at the Linfield Art Gallery at Linfield University in McMinnville.